Lakeland Blitz, we have Coach Rhett Carroll of the Banks County Lady Leopards. Coach, thank you so much for allowing us to come out and talk about your softball team a little thank bit. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Uh, not, no, uh, no surprise whatsoever, but you're off to a 6-1 and one start. Uh, number three state ranking. Uh, probably fair to say this team hasn't even hit its peak yet, hopefully. But how important is it uh, for your program to be able to get off to a quick start like this? Um, well, we wanted to expand off of last year's season and get off to a hot start. You know, the biggest thing uh, that what I've noticed is going to the all-state votings and talking, you know, amongst coaches was, um, you know, like wh who is Banks County and where do we come from? And you know, I mean, I understand, you know, the question because we weren't really on anybody's radar last year, but at the same time. Um, you know, it, it adds that fuel to that fire, you know what I mean? And so praises to these girls coming in here in June, July, four days a week. We have a wonderful uh, strength conditioning coach and Coach Brian who makes sure and ensures that these girls are well taken care of. Um, you, we've noticed a noticeable difference in their speed and their strength and their agility and just lateral movement. Um, so we're very fortunate here. Uh, to have all the resources that we need here at Banks County to be better and to become better. We have wonderful administration who allows us to do um, anything necessary, right, that's, um, that's necessary to be successful. Um, and with that, that's why we're able to get off to that hot start because um, everything that we need, uh, our administration allows us to have and supports us 100%. So we've got off on the right foot and we just, want to stay on that trajectory. Yeah, it's cool to see that impact of other people that maybe aren't day to day in the program, but make an impact too. So uh, this is crazy, 58 to 12. That's the run differential right now for y'all. Uh, just, you got an offense that can go toe to toe with anyone if you have to be in those kind of games. Uh, and then you got, of course, lockdown pitching and defense. What's it like as a coach to be blessed with both of those? Well, you know, what's funny is sometimes you have a lot of one, not as much of the other, right? But what's a beautiful thing to see is is having a lineup that supports each other. You know, we have people in our lineup that and it's ball, right? Like you're not going to have your best day, but that doesn't mean the other eight won't, right? And so picking each other up, that's one thing that I've really noticed uh, just so far in our seven games is we have a lineup that passes the baton, right? And so if we're not having a good day, um, it's next man up or next lady up, I should say, and they and they and they answer to that. Uh, our pitching's been really good. We are blessed with three wonderful pitchers um, who answer the call every time we call on them. Um, it doesn't matter who we throw out there. Our defense is going to be is going to play as hard as they can behind them, and our pitchers know that they have an elite defense behind them, and they're going to play um, as hard and fast and physical as possible to ensure that we're as good and on our toes as possible. Yeah, let's talk about uh, talk about your pitching a little bit with Peyton Gaylor, um, freshman uh, phenom, sophomore sensation. I mean, she's just awesome. Lockdown pitcher in the circle. How special of a talent is she? Peyton Gaylor deserves everything that she gets. Um, every single accolade that she's accumulated throughout her short career so far, she's earned, and it's all because of her. She comes in every day, no complaints. Um, puts her head down, works, what can I do to get better, how can I get better, um, putting in the work beyond practice and behind the scenes, and she does a ton of rehabbing and working out on her own. Again, shout out to Coach Brian, going to him every single day, every day throughout the summer and uh, during the school year, and doing anything that she can to make sure that she's at the top of her game to help her teammates. And she's She's the quiet leader, right? Like she's going to come in, she's going to do the right thing, and she's going to get her job done every time. Yeah, and you got her for uh, this year and the next Very couple, fortunate. so that's awesome. Very uh, and, and let's talk about another uh, player on this team, Desiree Trudel, who comes from Commerce. Um, it's not often you get a, an incoming senior talent like her that's right. a, a proven leader. Uh, how is she sort of um, – brought her leadership and what impact have you seen her have? So Desiree came over to Banks County, I believe it was in February, and since day one she has been in constant communication with me. I mean, there's nothing that she doesn't do um, softball related that I'm not aware of. And she she's quick to text you, hey, can I get extra reps today before practice? She also does a lot of things behind the scenes. And that, that's something that you'll notice about us. Like we have kids that are asking me hey, what can I do to get better? Can you meet me at the field at this time or whatever, or 30 minutes before practice to get extra reps to do this or do that? They ask questions. Uh, that's what she's been doing. She's came in and been a catalyst for us, short, 
Um, big part of our lineup, obviously, and she she's meshed really well with the girls. And she, it's just, it's honestly, it's a beautiful thing to see somebody come in, click right away, be supportive of their teammates. She's been a wonderful teammate, and to be that leader and to just help keep us going. Yeah, and I know that uh, this program, just its history and just uh, your persona, you, you hold this team to high expectations and should. Um, but to to repeat as region champs, to sort of make a run, to be in that state title discussion like you were a year ago, what are the things that this team has to do, both the little and, and big things they have to do to make that a reality? Our practice is very hard, and it's also it's, it's tedious, right? So everything is <laughs> everything is very fine. So everything that we do is very um, it's articulated, and it is we put a lot of time and effort into our practice plans, specific things that we want to do and why. Um, I think if you ask our girls, our practices are probably harder than the games, and it should be that way. And we demand a lot out of them, and we ask a lot out of them. Um, but we, we take one game at a time. We're not looking forward you know, to people in our region. Like, for example, we play tomorrow, and that's all we've talked about, is we want tomorrow because that's what's in front of us, and we're going to do everything that we can to make sure that we're prepared for that opponent. Um, and get everything that we can to be successful for that day. Um, but we just got to keep grinding. We got to keep the main thing the main thing. You know, um, I'll say this too. Our, our uh, motto is Mudita, which means having vicarious joy in somebody else's success. And they take that to practice. They take that to games. When I'm at third, coaching third, and um, player X isn't having their best day, and I can hear all the way from third, coach to third, them picking each other up. Or when somebody does something good, they're the first one on the top step greeting them. Same thing when they're doing, you know, they didn't have their best at bat that time. They're the first ones, the whole team flocks to them, and they're right there cheering them on. And that, that carries over to practice, and which carries over to games. And that's honestly the biggest thing that I've seen so far to help us really keep going is we're having fun. And we genuinely care about each other. And, and they show it. And it's not fake, and it's genuine. And um, they do everything that they can to support each other and to, and to actually show it and express it. And we do everything we can at practice to keep grinding to get better. And they do a great job at it every day. Yeah, well, you got a team that has talent, has fun, and plays for something more than themselves. That's a dangerous team. So, yes, Coach, sir. can't wait to see what you do the rest of the way. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.